Two weeks after Irina Garcia was stabbed to death, her mom standing by the accused killer, her grandson, Derek Rosa. It's very unfortunate that this tragedy occurred, but this child is very humble, very peaceful, and nobody could imagine that this would ever happen. Garcia's mom and Derek's father begged a bond court judge to let the now adult defendant go home under house arrest. It's hard for us to explain how this occurred. Um, you know, it's, it's difficult, but I guess what we're asking for is another opportunity. It's a second chance to help him grow and become mature as a grown man to, to put this behind him and say, mm, we have your back. We're here to support you. Rosa described in over 20 letters sent to the court as an honor roll student, respectful and someone still loved by family on both sides. Someone who has never had any sort of violent tendencies or behavioral issues and goes out of his way to help others. But police describe Rosa as the teen who stabbed his mom next to his newborn baby sister's crib. The baby not hurt, but mom found unresponsive. I need to know if your mom is, is breathing. She's dead, miss. Rosa allegedly confessed to the murder in this 911 call and shared pictures of the body with an online friend. I took pictures and I told my friends about it. Was that bad? In court, Rosa's dad in disbelief. He also mentioned how his ex-wife was feeling before her death. Derek's mother recently had a child and she was overwhelmed with a lot of the work. It's, it's not taking away anything from what occurred. Um, and I wish if we could bring, you know, the incident back to yesterday or the day before that occurred. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.